Better known as the FX, the aggressively styled QX70 crossover entered its second generation for 2009 before its current moniker was applied two years ago as part of Infinity's massively confusing renaming scheme. We had to write this is the FX on our car sign outboard so editors would stop asking which Infinity this was, the styling has been described by Infinity as being akin to a bionic cheetah, which sort of makes sense if, wait. No it doesn't. However you describe it, the QX70 was once all alone in the style before practicality luxury SUV segment, but now it has to contend with the BMW X6 and the recently launched Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe for Aesthetes dollars. But whereas the BMW offers 8-cylinder power, the Infiniti and the Merc make do with a V6, although the latter gets a couple of turbochargers to help its cause. The QX70 is still among the best crossovers to drive, but its aging interior, flinty ride, and coarse engine place it at the tail end of the midsize luxury SUV spectrum. Still, it does offer a compelling value, undercutting the X6 by some $14,000 and the GLE Coupe by nearly $20,000. We drove a 2015 QX70 with all-wheel drive that was very nearly loaded at $59,535 with the premium, technology, and sport packages. Since last we tested the FX, er, QX70, the crossover has received a reworked sport package as seen on the vehicle pictured here. It brings huge, 21-inch dark finished wheels, darkened interior trim, sport seats, and magnesium shift paddles for the standard 7-speed automatic transmission. More important, however, Infiniti discontinued the 5.0-liter V8-powered version for 2015, a model that offered the performance to back up the QX70's belligerent looks. In contrast to the robotic, unpredictable stair-by-wire system that Infiniti sees as the wave of the future, the QX70's hydraulic system is dependable in both weight and linearity, although we wish it offered a bit more feel. We also like this Infiniti's styling inside and out, which has aged well, a result of it being ahead of its time when it launched. And the steering wheel is perfect in terms of diameter and rim thickness, getting those qualities right is important to driving confidence when you decide to storm a back road. Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came